It seems like Purell is everywhere these days, except at stores, where they're struggling to keep up with demand. And that's even with the company working around the clock to keep up the stock. Hard to believe that not too long ago, no one had ever heard of Purell. I guess you could describe it as a 10-year overnight success story. Mike Richardson is an industry analyst at the Fredonia Group. They held on to the idea and kept pushing it. Eventually, it became probably a far greater success than they would have imagined at the outset. That idea was Purell, what's become a pretty prized possession in our desperate attempt to keep our hands virus-free. It's made by Gojo Industries, a family-owned business. Rebecca Jarvis talked to then-CEO Joe Canfer back in 2013. My Aunt Goldie and Uncle Jerry at the beginning in 1946 developed a hand cleaner to get grease and carbon black off of uh, working people's hands. And it was called Gojo, uh, the namesake of our company today. Uncle Jerry gave Joe Canfer half the company when he was just in his 20s. And then, in the late 80s, finally, the eureka moment. Gojo perfected an alcohol-based hand sanitizer that was pretty easy on the skin. But just what do you call it? I wanted to name uh, the product Flash because I was so excited. It worked in a flash, I thought, and I thought I was being quite clever. In the end, Purell, as in pure, won out. But it took a while to clean up on the invention. Gojo actually lost money on Purell for years until 2002, when the CDC determined that alcohol-based products were indeed effective in cleansing hands. Today, Purell really isn't a luxury. Most families wonder what they would do without it. Vindicating, in a sense, what Joe Kaffner told us seven years ago about the virtues of having your own company. I probably would have been fired if I were working for anybody else, but uh, <laughs> uh, eventually uh, it paid off.